Hi, this is Pranshu. In the last video, I showed you how to crack a WPA password by implementing a dictionary attack using air crack. But the password was simple, it was community, something easily found in a small dictionary. In this video, I've set a complex password to the network, something that is 11 characters long, has alphanumeric characters, and a special character. This is not something you will easily find in a dictionary. In fact, part of the password is my name that is unique enough uh, to not be present in any English dictionary. So how do we crack this complex 11 character long password that is alphanumeric and has a special character? So as you can see over here this simple dictionary that worked for us in the last uh, that worked for us last time failed uh, to find the password. At this point as a penetration tester you will, you will have exhausted some of the common dictionaries used to crack passwords and you have realized that this is a complicated, perhaps personalized, passphrase. Your strategy is now to generate a smart, custom dictionary based on the target's personal information. A Python tool called COP exists to generate such a custom dictionary and we will use it. So go ahead and clone the tool uh, in your local drive. Then move into the directory and list the contents. We see that the tool is a Python tool, so we use the Python interpreter to run it. And when you run it without providing it any parameter, it's going to show you the default help option. So this tool is called the Common User Passwords Profiler, and it has several modes under which it operates, the most useful of which uh, in my opinion is the interactive questions mode where it asks you a bunch of questions about your victim and generates a password dictionary based on that. So let's say I, I'm targeting myself. Uh, I provided my first name, a dummy last name, um, and if you do not have any piece of information then just leave it blank. Provided a dummy birth date uh, tell me partner's name so do you want to add some keywords about the victim yes if you know uh, any specifics about the victim uh, in my case, for example, I like to listen to classic rock, so maybe add that in there. Do you want to add special characters at the end of words? Yes. I, ch I usually choose yes to these questions because these are things that a user is likely to do when they are generating or uh, thinking of a password. Leap mode. Now this depends on your victim. In my case, you would want to turn leap mode on because I am likely to select a password that has some leap speak in there, uh, knowing my background. But uh, so this depends on your victim. In my case, I will choose to turn it on. So it saves the potential passphrases in a file called victim's first name .txt and uh, gives you a count of the total number of passphrases that it has generated and you can look at uh, the contents of that dictionary file so these are the top hundred lines in the in the dictionary so these are some combinations of birth dates that I provided. Still birth dates. Uh, all right, that looks like the partner's name I provided backwards, so that's Jane, J-A-N-E, except that it has tried to put lead speak in there, so it is substituted for, for A and three for E and so on. Still trying combinations of partner's name in lead speak. Uh, 
All right now it's trying to um, generate combinations using the pet's name that I provided. So that's Jane Doe. Partner's name plus um, plus their birth date. So you get the idea. It generates uh, all potential passphrases uh, using the information that you provided about the victim. So let's explore some other options. You can also download word lists from the internet uh, using the L parameter. So it gives you the option to download any of these word lists and you can go ahead and download it if you think that it is relevant to the target. For example, I just mentioned that I like to listen to classic rock music, so you might want to download the music word list if you were targeting me. So it downloads classical music, country music, jazz music, and a rock music dictionary, which is likely to be relevant to me, and a rock groups dictionary. So this is now saved in uh, Dictionaries Music. So if you list the contents over here, you see all of these dictionaries that you can now use to target your victim. Now let's look at a couple of the other options. So you have an option to parse default usernames and passwords directly from ElectoDB. But I found that it doesn't work for me because when it tries to download the database, uh, the URL that it's trying to download from is not responding. So for whatever reason, the server seems down. Uh, I've tried to ping it, it doesn't work. So my workaround for that is to edit the config file and update the variable that stores the electo db URL to something that works. So find this database online on another URL on another location and update this variable electo URL with that location and it seems to work fine after that. Apart from that, you can also use the W option to improve an existing dictionary. Uh, for example, there's a dictionary called words that is present at this location in Kali Linux. And I can try to improve that dictionary. Uh, it will ask me a bunch of questions about what I want to do with it. It's a large dictionary, so I'm going to choose no to that. Yes. No. No. It's to improve the existing dictionary based on the options that I just chose. I'm going to go ahead and stop this because this takes a while and I don't want to wait. All right, so now that you have a new dictionary, you can use aircrack to try to crack the password using that dictionary. and see if that works. So this is a personalized dictionary that we've created specially for the target. This will work in most cases. In my case, the password that I've chosen to crack is really complicated, and I knew that I wouldn't find it uh, using uh, this tool. But 
it might work in your case because most users are going to select a password or going to choose a password that is based on some form of personal information. So it may or may not work for you, but it is a good strategy to try before you um, move on to more exhaustive options which take more time and CPU power. So if it didn't work for you using this customized uh, and personalized dictionary generator program, then in my next video I'm going to show you how to use Crunch to generate a completely custom dictionary using a bunch of options.